You know, it's a good thing. Fountain pen meets. If you've never been to a fountain pen meet, you should. If there's none in your area, you should set one up. Because here's the thing that happened. I was in Toronto, hanging out with friends. It was a pen meet. These are all pen people. And we started to talk. And then my friend Claudia brought up this. It is a rollerball, okay? Now, she... Uh, she had a rollerball tip, a little baggie of rollerball tips for pen BBS pens. And then she handed me one and said to just give them a shot. She had one inked up and I tried it and I thought this actually writes really nicely. Now, let there be no mistake, I'm still a fountain pen person, but I'm also of the opinion that sometimes a rollerball can be very useful. Yes, I have just said that in some cases, a rollerball can be very useful. So, for example, at work, I have a little pouch. It's a Maxpedition pouch. I can show you this one day if you really want to. But in there always is this. This is a pen I have reviewed before. It is the Inventory Pocket Fountain Pen. But I always use it in this writing mode. That is a rollerball. Now, throughout my everyday activities, I use fountain pens. But sometimes you need to quickly sign something. You need to sign something on terrible paper. You need to sign a birthday card for a colleague. You need to whatever. And then a, a rollerball is very useful. Now, all of this got my juices flowing and I thought, you know what? I think it would be very interesting to do a video where I show different rollerball tips or different pens that come in a rollerball mode but that can use fountain pen ink. So, what do you do? You contact Brian Goulet and you say, my man, this is the idea I have. And he said, my man, what a good idea. And I said, my man, but I need some stuff. He said, my man, let me send you something. This is dramatization. This is not actually how this discussion progressed, but it pretty much boiled down to that. So. Here's the introduction. Today we're going to do a fountain pen shootout. But it's not really a fountain pen shootout, it's only sort of a fountain pen shootout. Because these are all rollerball pens, or pens that have a rollerball tip, but that use fountain pen ink. And I thought that would be useful. Why? Well, because of a couple reasons. First of all, if you're watching these videos, you probably have a number of fountain pens, or at the very least you have one, and it's very likely you have a bottle of fountain pen ink, if not multiple bottles of ink. That means that if you buy one of these pens, many of which are actually pretty affordable, you can use your favorite fountain pen ink, and you don't have to buy those rollerball refills, which you can then throw out when they're empty, because you can keep refilling these pens, which I think is very cool. So you can reuse the inks that you own, and you don't have to throw out anything, because these are pens that, use, that you can use in that rollerball mode. Okay, what am I talking about today? I'm going to do a writing sample side by side. Um, and I will talk a little bit about each of these pens, okay? So, first of all, I have a Pen BBS Model 309 piston filled pen, rollerball tip. Then I have, courtesy of the Goulet Pen Company, the Noodlers Conrad. I specifically requested that because the Conrad, I knew it came with a fountain, uh, sorry, with a, of course, it has, is available in fountain pen mode, but you also get it with a little rollerball tip. And in the same box, you get a little brush tip if you are of more artistic nature or you do a lot of Asian style calligraphy that can be useful. Then we have the Gerbin rollerball. I have reviewed this pen in the past, so there is a separate review on this pen on my channel somewhere. Then I will have a look at the inventory pocket fountain pen, but in rollerball mode. And then finally, uh, Brian said, you know, I have a couple of these lying around. We don't really sell them anymore, but I'll send you one too. And I said, my man, go ahead. <clears throat> Again, that was a slight dramatization of that discussion. But here we have the Monteverde. This is the one touch engage, not with a capacitive tip, but this is basically a retractable tip rollerball. A lot of fun. And all of these pens take fountain pen ink, not traditional 
refills for a roller ball with the little tip attached. No, this is all pens that take fountain pen ink. So, I'm very excited. We're going to do a writing sample, and as I do that writing sample, <coughs> I will talk a little bit about each pen. Okay? In fact, I've just decided I'm going to talk a little bit about each pen and then do that writing sample. So, let me tilt the camera down, be there in a sec. Okay, so let's have a look at all these roller balls. Um, I, uh, I, I just wanted to give you that quick overview with a Lamy Safari, just so that you have an idea of the size of these pens. As you can see, they vary quite a bit. The Gerbains is quite small, that really is a pocket pen, I would say. Uh, while this, this Monteverde is actually quite large. So, okay, let me just quickly go over these one by one. I do not have boxes for all of these, um, but as I said, the Gerbain I have reviewed that just comes in a little sleeve. Uh, the Monteverde comes in a Monteverde box. I've shown you those a couple times in, in Monteverde reviews. The Noodlers uh, comes in this box, uh, which has a little manual uh, with it as well. Uh, it says, let me see here, uh, libertarianism, libertarianism, 1700, the world was on fire, no one could save me but you. Hashtag joke people, don't get upset, I'm only kidding, right? So we have this, we have this, and then uh, we have the pen BBS, they, they uh, that actually came in a, in a cute little box with a pen kimono, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, so there is that. Now, I just want to give you a very quick rundown of these before I actually use them. Okay, so Pen BBS makes a bunch of models and they are increasingly available with rollerball tips. Now, how expensive they are, that will depend a little bit and vary a bit from model to model. So you're going to have to check out eBay and do a little bit of uh, uh, looking around and you may find uh, this, right? You can also buy the rollerball tips separately because that's what Claudia did. I couldn't find them on eBay, but maybe you can. Maybe they were just sold out at that moment or something. So again, price on this will vary a little bit. Now here we have the Noodlers Conrad. The price uh, for this at uh, Goulet was $22. Uh, which is nice. It's a piston-filled pen. Has a large capacity. It is a little translucent. You can you can see that there, right? So you can kind of see the ink level if you hold this up to uh, to light. It also has an ink window, which is kind of nice. Rollerball tip, and also comes with that uh, brush tip, which I I can't really use these things. My my coordination is not compatible with that. But in any case, so you have this, right? Piston fill pen, you can take the whole thing apart, you can grease the piston, that's the nice thing about Noodlist. You, you, your maintenance is really, really easy. Okay, and I want to talk about this one, the Gerbain Rollerball. Uh, it's, uh, it's another uh, rollerball uh, um, uh, pen which takes small international cartridges, so the international short. It also can fit a Monteverde mini converter. These do not come supplied with a pen, but Goulet, for example, does sell them. And no, you cannot eyedropper this because there actually are three holes at the end of the barrel. I know that would look cool, but it won't work so well. Uh, so that is that. These um, Gerbain rollerballs um, uh, you can get at um, uh, Goulet 2. Um, the, the mini converter is 250 and I see that I forgot to write down the price of the Gerbain rollerball. I'm very sorry, but uh, I want to say something along the lines of $30, but I could be completely off. So, sorry, sorry, check it. Now we have this inventory pocket fountain pen, which again in this case is not a pocket fountain pen. Cool thing about these pens is that they come with a number of finials. This is the capacitive tip, so you can use it with your phone and such, but it also comes with a little clip, it comes with a little lanyard loop, it comes with a flat tip, so that's kind of nice. And if you purchase this version, you actually get it with this extender, uh, because the extender, uh, you can also get it without the extender, and then you can only use it in this mode, and then it really is a pocket pen, uh, which you can then screw on post to have a full-size pen. I really like to use it with the extender for two reasons. One is that it becomes a little bigger. The second thing is you can put a spare cartridge in the back, which is rather nice to have that at hand. Okay, so there is that. 
And then finally we have this interesting one, uh, which, oh sorry, by the way, this is pretty expensive. The inventory, the most expensive one in the bunch is 165 US. But it also comes with a fountain pen a nib, so it's it comes with the nib, it comes with the rollerball tip, and if you want the extender, that specific version of the pen is 165 US. But check out my review because I show off all the accessories and all that in that video. And finally we have this one which is the um, penultimate one in, in price. Uh, this one is $73, the Monteverde One Touch Engage, uh, carbon fiber and uh, yeah I, I feel a little bad saying this because of course Brian Goulet sent me this but uh, as I understand it the Goulets don't really sell it anymore so I don't really want to uh, if, if one company sends me this I don't really want to refer you to the competitors but uh, uh, JetPens I think still has these and I did want to give you a price so this one is $73 so there you have it $73 and um, yeah, a slightly more expensive one, but also very solid pen, to be fair. It also comes with a converter, which is kind of nice. Okay, now I think an important thing for us is to uh, to see uh, what's, uh, what's going on with each of these. So I'm going to try to do a writing sample, except for the, um, the inventory pocket pen, they all have the same ink in them. So here we have the pen BBS. This is the widest of the tips. The ink is Waterman uh, Serenity Blue in all of these, okay? I love this one. I need to leave some space, so I'll try to make narrow columns. This is the widest of the tips, but it is very smooth. Very nice writing. Of course, there is no line variation really to be had here. Uh, but nice, smooth writer. So of these pens, when it comes to the absolute smoothness, this pen BBS tip may be my favorite. Plus in this model with the uh, piston filler, it actually has a large ink capacity, which is kind of cool. Let's then move on to the Conrad. So here we have the Noodler's Conrad also very smooth I have had a, a um, Noodler's rollerball in the past and I saw that some people online said that they had issues where they used it and then they refilled it and after a few uses the tip just stopped writing now you can buy replacement tips I remember that from mine too I cleaned it well with water and I don't know if that made something rust on the inside or anything but I do remember that tip gave a bit of an issue. This one is very nice and wet which I really enjoy. So beware of that issue. I do think it's a pretty pleasant writer and an advantage that you can you can post it at least yes there you go you can post it it's a pretty nice size I think it works for a lot of people but, but sorry, it does have the noodler's smell which is a very specific material smell. The Gerbin is something that you, I think most people would use posted because it's pretty small otherwise. I guess I didn't really have to write down rollerball given that these are all rollerballs but still. Uh, I found that this is a finer tip and I did find that this is Rhodia paper on this it's kind of okay. On paper that has a little bit more texture to it, I found this the scratchiest of these tips. And you also see it is finer if you compare it to that pen BBS, it's just a slightly finer writer. So there is that. Uh, one thing I didn't really like about this Gerbin, by the way, is that that metal ring just comes off, which feels a little cheap to me when you when you you know, open this up to refill it. I don't really like that so much. I wish they would have come up with a solution for that. Okay, then we have, let's do this pocket pen inventory. Yeah, so I'm sorry, this has a, a, a black ink in a cartridge in it. So this is the one that has a slightly different, uh, why would I write that down? Um, this has a slightly different ink, right? Pretty different actually. So this is the pocket 
fountain pen. Also a bit of a finer tip. But I, I very much enjoy this pen because it is so modular. You can put on uh, a fountain pen tip, you can use the roller ball, you, you have that extender, you have the different finials. I very much like this, but as I said, uh, that, that does come at a price, 165 US, right? So it's not cheap. But I do find it very pleasant. They come in different finishes too. There's a brass and all that, so you can, you can play a bit with what you prefer most. And then finally here, I have the uh, Monteverde, and I can just make that fit. Monteverde One Touch. Engage. A pretty wet writer. Also the uh, Waterman Blue again. I'm reaching around a tripod, so I'm... My handwriting is terrible, but live with it, please. Bear with me. Okay, what, I, uh, what do I like about these? Well, as I said, the pen BBS, super smooth. I really love that in this pen. And depending on what model you get, they're not all equally cheap. This is not necessarily $5 Chinese pens. It's a Chinese brand, though. Um, but these are very nice tips. I really enjoyed that. The Noodles Conrad, nice, uh, so let's hope that it will keep writing. You can get the replacement tips, but of course you would like them to last a bit. What I do like about this one is you can completely disassemble it and clean it and grease the piston and all that, but then to be fair, same thing with the pen BBS. Nice size though, this one's a little longer. I think this is a nice size for many people, the Conrad, so I kind of like that. And $22, that's really not that bad, especially given that you also get that brush tip with it. Gerbin, to be honest, the least favorite for me. I, I think it's that, that, that small uh, size I don't like so much, but also I don't like the specific tip that much. That ring falls out. I, I just don't, don't really care for that one so much. The inventory, I've already told you that. I very much enjoy that one, but that is also the most expensive one in this lineup. So uh, my granddad always used to say, you can dance, but it doesn't have to be with the king. Um, you can also use a less expensive pen and you'll be perfectly fine. Because to be honest, I think the pen BBS tip actually writes more smoothly than the uh, inventory does. I just like this because of all the side features. <coughs> Excuse me. And then finally, we have the Monteverde One Touch Engage. Slightly odd system. I mean, this is a piston filler, this is a piston filler, you understand how that works. This one takes cartridges or a converter, converter supplied. And this one you have to buy a separate converter if you want to use that mini converter. Uh, this is a kind of a weird system where if you want to ink the pen, you have to take all this out, then take out this spring and don't lose it. And then there is a converter screwed into this whole unit. You can buy these units separately for the record. Interesting, um, interesting system, a little finicky because you have to, again, you have to make sure you, you, you put the, you don't lose that spring, you put it in well. Another issue I found is that the mechanism uh, on this pen, let me see how I can show you, is not always super smooth. Sometimes I have the feeling that the uh, the, the tip gets stuck a little bit, like now. I'm pushing it, but it's not popping back, and now it popped back. So you have to push this with a, a little bit of force sometimes, but overall, design-wise, I think this is a very attractive model, especially with the carbon fiber. It looks really good. It's, it's, it's relatively heavy, but it does look very nice. So, But then again, this is also a 70 plus dollar pen. I think each of these have a great uh, have give great selling points for them, even if it is their their low price or whatever. It's slightly different. You can use your favorite inks. I think that is a, a big advantage. I am eagerly waiting to put my SBRE Brown ink in one of these just to see what it will look like in a rollerball. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope this was useful. A very kind thank you to Brian Goulet, who, without you know any issue, sent me three pens, uh, which I really appreciate. So that has pretty much made this video possible. A thank you to Claudia for giving me the tip to this pen and my friend Florence for actually giving me this pen. So I could, the, these two ladies have basically sponsored this video too. Uh, and actually Inventory sent me this pen. So um, 
multiple people have collaborated to bring you this video today, I would say. And for that, as always, I'm very grateful. So, very, very nice. Uh, I hope this was useful. I hope this has given you an idea on what rollerball you may want to check out if you want to use a rollerball with fountain penning. And that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.